Ladies and gentlemen, this week's episode of the Mud Blood Podcast is brought to you, as always, by Manscaped. Why am I doing this like a UTV newsreader? Anyway, it's coming up to summer. You don't want to be going around summer with wee hurry bollocks because it gets sweaty. It gets sweaty and it gets smelly. What you want, you want nice, clean, shaven bollocks or flaps or whatever you may have and we can help you. You know the drill. You know what this is. You know what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it anyway, because they pay me to do it. Manscaped, mob blood, 20% off, lawnmower, ball toner, ball deodorant, bag, balls, fannies. You know how this works. You know what this is. Why am I still saying it? Because you're not all getting it. Why are you not all getting it? Because maybe you can't afford it, that's fair enough. But if you can't afford it, you want money off it, we can help you. Mob blood, 20% off manscaped.com that's that's all you need to know i'm gonna keep saying it because again they pay me for the amount of time i do this manscaped.com mud blood 20 percent off shave your burr butt back and balls and when you're shaving them you think of me and patty and you think thank those wee lads and that old man who helped me shave my balls at such an affordable price Enjoy this week's episode, thank you very much. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's edition, as always, of the Mob Blob Podcast, brought to you by myself, William Thompson, and my good friend, Mr. Patrick McDonnell. How you doing, sir? Tired. Very tired. Oh, you're a very sleepy boy today, what's very up? Very tired. Just gigging flat out. Just being Aye. very tired. Were you gigging on the last night? Yeah, the Empire. Who was on? Uh, Alexandra Harrow and... Kevin Kildare. What's Kevin like? Very Kevin. good. Very good. It's my first time gigging with him. Uh-huh. It's very, very good. He had a brilliant opening bit. He, he came out and his opening bit was, uh, he says, I was in all the coffee shops in Belfast today, he says, and I was really, really struggling. I needed to go to the loo. And every one of the loos, there was a big sign in capital letters saying, do not flush anything other than toilet roll down the toilet. He says, now you had to walk about Belfast with my shit in the hand. <laughs> that's great. That it's very good. That's very, very funny. Yeah, so it was very good. That's very good. You've been flat out. Yeah, flat out. You've Three on Sunday. Fucking 40 gigs over Saturday, the weekend. Saturday, Friday, non-stop. Thursday, Wednesday, yeah. Tuesday. I, I had Saturday off and I was like, this is good. Yeah. But no, you I've, didn't even. Yeah, I've been You're a Mahara felt. Mahara felt. Mahara felt. Mahara felt. Mahara felt. How'd it go? It was unreal, like, for a work in progress. Fucking. Yeah. 180 people in. Powerful. So, it's been mad, the work in progress. It was the crowds. Nuri wasn't that great. Oh, Nuri, Nuri hated me. I filled in for you last minute. They were not happy with me being there. Um, Fucking hated 61 me. 61 people, like, but uh, it was still a good enough gig, like, it's, it's still enjoyed it. One wanker fucking talking. I know who you mean, because yeah. I was on. And he just randomly in the middle of my set went, prod! And I went, what? And he went, he says you're a prod. I'm like, I've already done three jokes about that. Yeah. But thanks for letting me know, you fucking spastic. It's one of them weeks where you, you don't forget to pay the window cleaner in Lurgan, you're in trouble. Uh, He's coming to wrap your door in there. Fuck, did you see that? Well, two obviously you've just brought it two up. brothers. Jesus Christ, man. That was, uh, was something. I think now we ring doorbells, you get to see a wee bit of that there. Like yeah. over a football team for fuck's sake, lads. Is that, Seriously. I didn't know what, I no, just saw the clip. Obviously we're just out saw out the clip. The, they were obviously out watching the, Aye. the fucking Sally Granger's match and then it didn't go his way. And Always played, podcast like, with protection on she people. Never, so. uh, she never paid her fucking Monday bill this week. Fucking. Mad like it had happened it's mental. still in this thing. The only bit, it's not a funny clip, but the only funny bit in it is watching the two of them separately. Try to take the ring doorbell off. And it was like, not happening. Your mum punched it and it rang again. So then it records even more. <laughs> there's one point. There's one point he goes, Get off the wall. Get he, off the fucking wall. He goes, Cover up that fucking camera. And he puts his hand on it for about three seconds and then forgets about it. It's a, it's a bit late. Yeah. It was a bit late. Like, you're already. Open the, Open the door. Open the fucking door. Open the door. Open the door. <laughs> You're looking like a fucking orc from Lord of the Rings, like. Fingers in there. Fingers in there. 
Open up. And he does like a wee burp in between it. He's like, open up. Not just get fucking drunk and go for a kebab. Like, oh, do you know what I mean? Ever have a wee drunk wine? That's what I do. <laughs> uh, and the sober, right? And most times that's I'm wanking. That's funny for the girl and the in the house. Like, no, like, fuck. Like, 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 no, we're not laughing. We're laughing at the stupid We're laughing at the fucking trolls there, aren't like. What the fuck, like? It's disgraceful that that happens, like. And But fuck me. He's, like, he's all over the place now because, like, the other that fucking stupid, like. Yeah. No, well, but, obviously. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Like, it, it's... They're just fucking... In the fucking broad daylight, fucking going and rapping somebody's doors for a pat the thing and say... There's a bit he tries to kick a door open and falls back. That's yeah. also really funny. Like, yeah. he puts it and then falls. Yeah. Very funny. But I used to watch a programme. It was called America's Dumbest Criminals. Yeah. But I don't think... You've got Lurgan's biggest the, spastics now. The, the people go, why do you not gig in Lurgan? Because <laughs> that guy is the mayor of Lurgan. He he is the he is the richest guy in Lurgan. That's apparently he canvasses for the DUP. Really? Yeah, yeah. Your woman, uh, Carla Lockhart, has him on Facebook now. I know it doesn't mean anything, but she's associated with. I she hasn't of, said anything. That I kind of you yeah. know. I know I could fuck the it. amount of fucking criminals yeah. you have on your Facebook. You, you had um, you had your man that drove a lorry in yours. Remember? Mel Did, Robinson. Mel Robinson was he Mel on Robinson my Facebook? On your Facebook guy. <laughs> <laughs> was he actually? Yeah. <laughs> but I added I him. I added him after. That's I, the worst thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was him and Michaela. I was you like, mate, you I heard you do Chinese. <laughs> yeah. Jesus fucking Christ! Oh. Jesus! <laughs> do you ever think he got home after doing that delivery and being like, "They forget some. They they leave something I mean, on the phone." Obviously, he knew exactly what he was doing. Like. Uh, it was, I don't think he expected him to be dead, like, but no. Seems oh, he definitely like, knew what he was doing. Oh, of course he did. Of course what he was doing. Seven MR too. I mean, he's did. someone I don't worry about. If we talk about him on the podcast, he'll be here. Don't worry about Mo, him Mo, being Mo. there. Yeah, if we're here in fifteen years and Mo gets out, then we're maybe fucked. But until then, we're all right. Did he get it? Probably. What did he get? Huh? What did he get? Many years did he get? I don't know, you'll have so many fucking life sentences there, wouldn't it? But it'd be diminished but, responsibility or something. Yeah. It? Two seconds, two, I, I won't find that out. Mo Ooh. Robinson. Mo, Mo, Mo. to you, Mo Robinson. What I loved is, like, when that came out and people were defending them and they were being like, I know Mo, he wouldn't do this. Now, I know you very well, but I don't think I know you so well that I could be like... <laughs> This guy would never traffic people. Like, I, yeah. that's such a specific thing to be like, that's not in his character. I wonder if he's still on your Facebook. <laughs> we'll have a look. 15 years? I fucking nailed that. You did. That's, you are mates with him. You must be, fucking, yeah, you yeah, must be getting letters from him. Though. I'm his prison, I'm his yeah, prison bitch. He's definitely sent you. <laughs> oh, Mo, Mo we miss you here on the outside. Mo Robson. I'm surprised. I did not know I was Facebook friends with him. Do you know what? I think his Facebook's gone. Oh, I thought you were going to say he's unfriended me, which would have been more annoying. I think it's... I'd be more annoyed about that than the, the murder of the fuck, fucking immigrants. I think it was Morris. He was on his Morris. He had the full title. He was? Ah, that's right. Sean, can I grab a wee water? That's very unprofessional, I'm sorry. Just while Paddy looks at my Facebook yeah, friends for a man named face, Morris. His, his Facebook's What's away. That? See, living with my grandparents, I, my house is just a building where people with dementia are walking about looking for phones. And now it's it's caught up to you now. <laughs> Literally, spread. doesn't matter what I'm doing with her today, someone just comes into the room being like, I left my phone in here. No, all right, see you later. In your house? Yep. Yeah, he's, he's gone off Facebook. Oh, it's very sad. R.I.P. We barely knew you. Oh, my fucking knee. That's one last person... The hit like in your thing. <laughs> no one likes on Facebook anymore. Facebook's fucking dumb, man. <laughs> Somebody wrote, there's something very messed up about the fact that within an hour of these deaths being reported, some non-Irish people had started a Justice for Mo guys <laughs> <laughs> Tells you a lot about where the priorities lie. The low-life scum and his accomplices put money ahead of lives. And people... No. I love how the more you read of that, you realised it wasn't that funny. You were like, justice for Will. <laughs> Always taking money over death. All right, okay, Can't. never mind. I remember, but there were people being like, Mo would never do this. Yeah, no, I remember seeing them. You were one of them. I absolutely wasn't. You absolutely I knew were. he did it, and that's why I liked him. I liked the bad boy. <laughs> he knew the risks, and that's what was sexy about him. You, you were involved in it somewhere or other. I've had, 
put a few photos up this week and have been getting some reactions to it, right? Uh-huh. Do you, have you seen this? Yeah, that's the guy who was trying to break into a house in Lurgan. <laughs> <laughs> Show that fucking that's, photo. That's the first thing. If I had a wee moustache. How long were you meant to any standards for? If Fuck I me. Had, if I had a wee moustache here, like... <laughs> feed him in there. <laughs> I have said it before. I used to get mistook for a Protestant quite a bit. Yeah. And now I can see why. You yeah. actually do look like my Uncle Mark. Some of the things. Right said Fred's long lost brother. Sammy McCory's love child. Ha! Paddy Mad Dog. That came from Tommy Mac. Lower shankle head on you. <laughs> Mad to think you're only eleven in this photo. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that from? And then people says the party I remember. Um, Darren Matthews said that. Um, Fantastic. Looking Dan. forward to the morning. Eight. Oh, awesome. Johnny and Darren, Jamie Brayson's love child, which makes it a bit mad because I think Jamie's younger than me. <laughs> um, Johnny and Darren called. He wants his earrings back. Party and front line of the UVF band march. A lot of Johnny and Darren banter going on. Yeah. I don't know what it is about Johnny Adair. He's the go-to and then I like put, head Protestant. And I put that one up. Right. Right. Which it was look at your wee face. And, and somebody says, look at it. Were you in Baker Grove? I blame that haircut on Stilo. Um, you grew, as I say, oh, wiper blade eyebrows. Somebody put up and says, you look like, and it's deleted now, you look like a middle-aged lesbian. <laughs> You do, that's a very 90s lesbian you look like. Oh, thanks. That back it's then. a niche. It's a niche market. Yeah, yeah. Sorry if I've offended by making fun of how you looked 30 years ago, but you yeah. do look like a, a middle-aged lesbian. It's mad that you do look at photos, go back in time and go to yourself, what was I thinking? Or why? Oh, yeah. But ever, at the present you, moment, you think you're all right looking? You ever seen me blonde, with? Well, that, <laughs> I didn't want to go into that. Where I really... the Chicago White Sox stuff? Um... I bought it in Donegal. Oh! That's knocking up. Oh! And the main reason is because my friend, we buried him last week and he's in the background. But Right, we'll zoom out of that. Zoom into your face. Susie you McCabe. look like a lesbian. You do look like Susie McCabe. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. It's like... <laughs> oh, fuck me. How long ago was that? <laughs> Too long ago. Jesus Christ. How do you look older in that one than you do now? I don't know. Why do lesbians look older than the other the day then? I don't know. I don't know, but you, just in that one, you look about 50. Yeah. Were you under the influence there at all? Right, will you stop scrolling through your phone <laughs> while we're doing this? You're just showing me things now. <laughs> that last one was the photo of him. It was just the post that he liked. He was like, look at that. I'm like, very, very nice, sweet man. Very good, no, you do that. I liked it. I was just going, fuck, ours a surprise. That's all. Um... But it's um, mad. Sean's it's, just left me. We're all good. I'm only joking. He's way just shite. Um, shiting himself because he's getting married on Saturday. That's right. That's right. You going? Yeah. You going the whole night? Uh, we'll probably stay for like the dinner and stuff, yeah. And then get a dinner and fuck off. Proper Protestant thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Few people to in put bed out, for ten. Few people to put out and fucking lurking. <laughs> you must have a gig in that <laughs> night. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. No? No, no, I just don't want to get hammered because I know I will. I mean, at weddings, when you get hammered, it's so expensive. You know what that means, don't you? That means I'm getting hammered. Yeah, and well, he's like Protestant, so he's like, I don't know if you stayed feeling weddings. I don't know if I like it. That's and a jump in. I don't, I don't, I, get... Paddy's the only person I know at this wedding, and Sean, they're my only reference to safety, so I'm nervous. Tommy's going to be here. Is Tommy going to be here? Yeah. Oh, good, I'll go with Tommy. I did the maddest fucking show with him at the weekend there. Kill Ryan. Kill Ryan. It was great. It was great. But it was one of those before we all went on. Like they were just going nuts. Going nuts. like it was like a darts crowd before we went on stage. Like I came on stage and there was just people standing up going like da, 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 da. Football Club? Yes. Yes, Gaelic Football Club. Yeah. Fucking mad. Yeah. It was great. It was great. But it was one of those you were like, okay, this is gonna be Worse than Art Iron or not as bad as Art Iron? No, nowhere was as mental as that gig. And we have fun at those. Yeah. But they're mental. Mental. They're absolutely fucking they mental. They shouldn't they shouldn't work, but they do. It's one of those you go on and you can just see in your eyes the objective is survive. Yeah. It's not even being like, I'm going to do a well-crafted show. It's, I'm not getting stabbed. Let's just squeal at these as much as I can. Yeah. And see, see how much I listen to. Watch me do thirty minutes material in seven minutes. It's it's if you've ever done a gig like Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> Literally. I remember I put up a clip of that and someone was like, why are you shouting? That's insufferable. I was like, you were not in that room. Yeah. I wasn't even the loudest one. And I was on that fucking mic screaming my lungs out. Like, That's all you're doing is just screaming at them. Because you have to. You absolutely fucking have to, man. So Kilray was mental then. Look, it was good. It was a good mental. Do you know what I mean? And they were very lovely, very hospitable. They, they Dan had crisps out for us. I don't think Kilray and Dan Patrick's not that far away from each other. No, they're about 30 minutes, if yeah. even. It was the same in Dan Patrick. It and then next month. Mental. What, Dan Patrick? Yeah. That same gig? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you already done a bit of it. I know. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be good. It'll be fun. Yeah. Who's opening for you? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I just need to pick someone. Although, maybe, fingers crossed, they won't be as mental for me. That's what I'm hoping for. No, you give me a face. But you say this as though you don't attract the mental. Yeah, and so do you, like, and then you're sort of... I, not as you're much. You want to get that same crowd. Oh, I will, I will. It's a football club or something. But I don't attract them. I thought I attracted the mentals, not as much. I attract more single miles than I do mental to my shows. Yeah, genuinely just fucking always a fucking lunatic. I've the, yeah. felt them as three sisters, and they were fucking nuts. Three sisters? Three sisters. What were they doing? Fucking going mad. And what? Like, shouting out, screaming, fucking, like, wah, and you're going... This is I like you do a joke and they're like ah and you're like that's and shouting out and yeah just like, laugh listen you have to stop like last night the empire was mad too because it was like a birthday party and so I had to control lemons and they were like you were on fucking tic tac live talking about taking ketamine and I was like no fucking wasn't I said that lets me know you were taking ketamine <laughs> when you were watching me on tic tac and thought that I was talking about it when I wasn't and uh, then there was this English guy and he brought there was an English man sitting in the front row with a girl. It was his first date. Now, for your first date, you do not go to a comedy club and sit in the front row. No. Cause you, Unless you want rinsed. Yeah, but you also want to go and talk because you're getting to know each other. Yeah. You don't... But he could be an awkward bastard. Like, this is filling him because he has no crack. Trust me, on your first date, do not take someone to the cinema or the fucking comedy club and sit in the front row. Because yeah. you're not going to be able to talk to him. A girl wants you to talk to her and find out about her and, and listen. That's what they want to know. Right? And I explained this to him. I had a mate that used to take all his fucking first dates to the cinema. And he, he basically was asking for a wank on the first date. And he was like, you don't get a wank on the first date. You're not staying with her. And he is now 43 and he's still single. Still going to the cinema? Still going to the cinema. How was he at? Was he wanting wanked in the cinema? Yes. That's what I mean. And he so, still never got a wank in the cinema to this day. I think he got one during Titanic. <laughs> and it wasn't from the girl he brought in. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought you meant he was like a teenager or something. No, he, this he's like 36, but like, we go still, to the cinema. Still lives with his ma. And still takes his first date at the cinema and goes, Yeah, it is my wife, really. <laughs> and it never works out. Man. <laughs> Do you not think he's ever had a moment where he sits back and he has to reflect on maybe why that isn't working? Is he ever sitting in his in his room being like, Do Is, is it me? Do I smell? See, is it the see, fact I put see, my cock see, out? See, yeah. See, whenever he does get one, he then doesn't like him because he goes, Nah, they were too easy getting it up there. So it's like, a never ending cycle of fucking. He should be a film critic. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the wrong job. I guess. Oh, yeah, this one, four wanks out of five. You should, usually, yeah. Uh, four skins. <laughs> four skins out of five. <laughs> he, uh, goes to, he goes to see that many films. What's your favourite part of that film? The popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go see Marley and Me? Yeah, it's great film, great you film. What do you think about when the dog died? <laughs> What about the bit where the dog died? I could then say it was getting wanked off at that point. <laughs> Fuck me. The yeah. wanking film critic. It, it just has a mad fetish and it just doesn't work out for him. I just get into a relationship and then let them know what. And if they yeah. like you enough, they yeah. might go, all right, but we'll go once a month or something. Or get know? Netflix. If you like a wank while watching the movie. It, it, it's something about the cinema. It doesn't need to be a specific cinema. No. No, just anywhere. I think it's like a public... I think it's like a... Uh, a activationism? It's like, uh, yeah. It's like a danger wank thing. Do you know what I mean? Does he ever put his dick through the popcorn? Do you know what? I said this to him and he says, nah, because you can't get a proper wank because it's too mad of an angle. <laughs> <laughs> he 
he says, and it's too obvious. Because you like it. <laughs> you know, no one's doing that for 20 minutes yeah. trying to get popcorn. He likes the old coat yeah. halfway up the legs, held up like that. Where's, Where's that? That's not dreadfully obvious no, in the middle not. of a cinema. No, definitely not. I see a bit rough than her. Quiet scene. In She's her using phone. her phone like the Seanals. I need to look at it. I need to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get over this. And will he know you're talking about him on this? Do you know what? The other boys will know who I'm talking about too. Right, okay. So it's like it's Is it one I've met? No. No? No. Oh. No. Different squad. But see, see at that, like, we all know about it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I would say somebody in his family knows about it too. Because we've said it and, and told the story like to someone in his family and they're like, you fucking wind me up. And they're like, but he is a weird cunt, don't get me wrong. It's all wouldn't surprise you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I understand maybe once or twice, if it's happened, Yeah. you go to the cinema and maybe you're going to hand you up. I used to say, why don't you go to the swimmers? Why? Know, why don't you go to the swimmers with her? Or, and he's like, no, I like the darkness and I like the room and all. And, and I'm like... Oh, hey, sound more like a murderer. There was a drive, drive in cinema. At the Alice, and we were like, "Are you going to go to the drive-in cinema? Because you can get an old buck." Yeah. Said, if you're in the car, and he was like, "No, I like the seats and I like the setup. I like the way it is." And he sits in a certain spot in the cinema. Like it's not where he sits. He does. He doesn't sit where you think. You would think he'd go in the corner. Yeah. No, he likes to go in midway, right. and like in the middle of a row. So it's what if. If there's people on that row or near him, he'll not give a fuck. He will not give a fuck. That's even better for him. <laughs> the closest I seen <laughs> anything like that. The, the 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 closest I seen the anything like that was when we went to see um, Fifty Shades of Grey in the cinema, uh-huh. and the way the women got on in the cinema, they they weren't wanking anybody. But no, they were. They needed to put plastic so, on those chairs. Like ah, uh, it sounded like they were having orgasms. Like oh my yeah. god, no and. Oh, you dirty wee bastard. Oh, you lucky bitch. And all like that was... I was in stitches watching that film. Did not just smell like a fucking fish market? But the... I, I, at that time, I was sitting in this... I was in the Dublin Road Center when we had that. But I remember sitting there going... Who'd you go with? Was it you and the boys? Me and my mate. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you going to hurry up here? That's, he was sitting watching going, you lucky no. bitch. I was... But I was sitting going to myself, if there was ever a film that he could possibly achieve what he wants, was yeah. that? Yeah. And I remember saying, tell him about it. I was like, the women really like that. You could really meet somebody and you make it what you want. And he was like, I, mean, I, I, I don't like that film. I don't, I don't want to see that film. And I went, surely you're not going because you like the film. Surely like, there's films that you're going to just to sit in the cinema and do what you need to get. And yeah. he was like, oh no, I have to like the film too. Like The whole thing has to be set up. Like, I'll not just go to any film. Like, it has to be something I like. So I'm enjoying the film while I'm enjoying the wank. And I'm like, this is fucking metal. Like, How shy does a film need to be where a guy's like, I won't even get wanked off to this? It's, it's near enough like, there has to be like a, a crescent moon. <laughs> <laughs> so the stars have to align for yeah. me here for this to achieve. Yeah. I'm just like, you're fucking just too much. It's just... It's fucking metal. The, the, the chances of him meeting somebody that's... Well, he probably could, but I don't know. Is there a seat, though, having a wank in the cinema fetish? I assume I. this is out of my wheelhouse at this point. I, Do I'm you want to Google afraid. it? I'm a white man. I can't I'll, really Google that. I'll look it up. This is outside of my usual expertise or, or the people that would know it. What would be your fetish, William? I understand the public thing. I don't really do it, but I... I is underst- that you admitting to something? Though? No, no, I don't really do it, but I, I understand it. <laughs> I understand. I'm a public fucker sympathizer. <laughs> That's like you going. Yeah. An ally. I'm in the D U P going. Listen. Yeah. I wouldn't personally kick yeah. somebody's door and tell them to get Listen. out. Listen. But I understand. <laughs> I've never taken a finger up the hole in the middle of the omniplex. However, I do have friends who have taken a finger up the hole in the middle of the omniplex. Would you let somebody finger you in the omniplex? <laughs> Did you not say hole? Huh? I thought you were going to say in the hole and then you change it to the Omniplex. No, I wouldn't get fingered. That's too awkward. No. No, I'd finger I'd fingered someone the cinema before. Just Willie with a fucking popcorn and a wee hole cut it. Go, go, go. I gotta look like they're reaching for popcorn. This big bag of Maltesers. Go ahead. No one will subtract the thing. They just think they're melted. Willie, sit down and fuck up. <laughs> I'd be in, um, 
No, I wouldn't. I've definitely like I've, everyone's done stuff in the cinema before, but it's I'm not, not a, asking you. It's I not just a watch your fellies, and you've went fucking clean on. I'm not. I'm the bit. I understand the oh, public, the stuff out in public. Yeah, What's, I understand the yeah. stuff out in fucking the public, like, and I'm like, right. So we no, get my fetish now. would be I like people being mean to me. So see, every time someone leaves a nasty comment, just know I'm sitting there fucking hard on like fuck. Oh, every time someone's like, "Well, he's a shy bastard," I'm like, "Am I? I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of the audience. Am I? What would be too hard? Nothing really, like. What would be too mean? Nothing. They can't mean you talking. They can't. I'm talking like girls. We're giving you a bit of fuck. Remain, remained ourselves not to ever throw you a roast. <laughs> yeah. <I mean>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there with this coat over me. Stop. stop That's stop, a great stop, joke, stop, honey. Stop. That's really it's good. Basically, an orgy <laughs> for you. So you like to be humiliated? No, not humiliated. Insulted. I don't like to be humiliated. Insulted. Insulted. Yeah. You should. Because I can insult them back. Can I tell you? Mm-hmm. It's July, I could tell you to go somewhere and you could, like, cream your cacks. Where's that? Just walk past our door, Miss Aishon. <laughs> you get it. I like to be insulted, you. not stabbed. Um, okay, well, I looked up um, fetish for cinema sex and I have to just throw away my phone, Paddy. Why? Because it's just, just came up a lot of porn. Right. Oh, people having sex in the, in the cinema? Yeah. Yeah, that's, I don't think there's a name for it. Right, and I'm not okay. watching porn on this podcast. Right, okay. That's, the, that's for the Patreon, guys. No, I just like to be insulted. Like, I, I like to argue. So if they can insult me, answer, I insult them back. We better fight, and I like that. Mm. And Granny's in going, Bye! Your dirty trucks is on the floor. Go, Granny, tell me it again. <laughs> <laughs> You're a useless bastard. Oh. Am I? Am I? <laughs> so when people Keep hackle on. you in their mean... You uh, like that's it. not an asexual. So when the fella said you had Down syndrome, <laughs> were you aroused? No, because that's not an asexual space. Do you know what I mean? It's like if you're with someone. I'm not saying the minute someone insults me in the street, <laughs> just go straight and pass the run. Well, you dirty, wee smelly, <laughs> jumping bastard, wanker! I'm like, oh, I will be. Oh, don't you worry. Don't you worry, son. <laughs> I'm about to close you like a donut. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but if I'm with someone and they're they're cheeky to me, that's mine. What's yours? Yours is tight, isn't it? Y- yours is tight. It's, it's it's. You get a full watch watching Robin Hood. I'm, I'm probably it's like blue eyes. It's just fucking. All right, how people have it? You know oh, I mean? right. I thought your fetish you know I mean? was blue that's eyes. Sexual shops, you know, tights and fucking stuff like that. Yeah, that's why there's tight shops. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like laundry and stuff like that. Hey, what I'm into is a common thing too. Be a cunt to me. Willie is asking people to be a cunt to. Only, only the hot ones. Like, if you're ugly. <laughs> Be as nasty as you want. That's not happening. That's anyway, nasty, if you look like a you're guy just who's a nasty, ugly bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then, you're nasty, then you're just a rude. Person. Then you're just a rude bastard who's stinking. It, you would get somebody who's beautiful being nasty. To you. you would get that. Yeah, and I'm nasty back. That's the that's the fun oh, part. Oh, oh, you that's never the fun part. No, that's, that's a, a I literally did say that. I went, they be nasty, me, I be nasty back. And then the you thing get is a thin line, like with some girl, like you know, she's being nasty, and then you go. I'm not giving you your fucking wages this week, you can't do. What was so spooky? Oh, what's happening, Andrew? We didn't know what was you. I just popped up to give Sean a wedding card. Ah, oh, um, very good. Just in the middle of the podcast. What do you, what do you give someone for weddings? I don't know. What? I've never... What do you give, give someone for weddings? Give them a wank in the cinema. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sitting up with the... Sean, do you want to go to the Omnifax? I'm sitting during the speeches, like, Foxy, yeah, come on, party here. Uh, <laughs> My dinner's getting cold. Fuck me. What do you give people for weddings? It's money normally in a card. Right. Cover your dinner. 10 out of 10. A card for his fucking top notch. Always 10 out of 10. And it just wasn't. But I mean, it could be a factor, a load of factors. Because it wasn't as busy as it normally was, no. You know? The Yorkies that doing it. Oh. Really good. They're fantastic. That's what I need on a roast. See, if a roast comes to my plate and there's no Yorkies. Trouble. Stinking. What are you doing? Give me my Yorkies. Yeah. That's the best. Andre part. likes Yorkies. I seen I a thing. I seen a thing on the internet where your mom made a fucking Yorkshire pudding. It was that it, and they put all the dinner inside it, and then filled it with gravy. You're not gonna believe this. I was just about to tell you the time me and Kieran Martin had had one of this together. Did you just have one each? We have one each. <laughs> we have one. Each. <laughs> just the at the end, like the lady in the <laughs> tramp. Was there a straw? In it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sucking out sausages and fucking stuff. <laughs> yeah, it was a big. Uh, there was in Newcastle. And your plate is basically the Yorkshire England, pudding. Newcastle. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
uh, upon time, upon time. Yeah. So it's like your plate is basically the big Yorkshire, and they just fuck all the meat and all the gravy and all the veg. I've seen it on the internet. I've never experienced it. it was oh, fish. outstanding! Did he like it? Loved it. Yeah. I think he hated the service in the place, but he liked the food. He's such a wee. Bitch. He's a wee cunt, like isn't he? <laughs> I just love to get this conversation with him and see about that gig at the weekend. See what he's thought. I'm on Glen Ivy. I need to ask him. Oh, I forgot Mate. we were talking about that off camera. Mate. Yeah, so Kieran done Glen Ivy, which I done last year. I can only speak of my experience, like, but it was yeah. people speak your truth, people buddy. getting up, people leaving, and then a guy sent an email letter to my agent just saying I want you to inform Paddy that he is offensive and vulgar and I was like that's a great name for a show surely you've had more than one complaint in your career or is that the only one because I've only ever had one that's the only one I know of but I'm sure there has been I mean like official complaints to you that's the only one um there was a local business that booked me for the owner's birthday party and I was doing the gig in a bar in the Lisburn Road. And they, when I arrived, I wasn't on for like 45 minutes. And I was mad to be on. Say it was 9 o'clock. They weren't putting me on till like quarter to 10. And they handed me a mic in like the back of the room. So it wasn't a proper setup. And the girl was like, which was his wife, just do 15. And I was like, I'm already here, 45. And she went, I know, but just do 15. And I went, okay. And I thought she was being sound about it. So I done 15. And then she came back and she was like, uh, you only done 15. And I went, you told me to do that. And I said, well, I'm only giving you this amount of money. And I was like, but I was waiting 45 minutes. Yeah. I thought you were being nice because it was your fault that I was not on for 45 minutes. I mean, I could have walked away. So why she only ask you to do 15? Because she knew that the, de- the night had went on that much. Right, okay. people were fucking hungry and fucking thirsty yeah. and so this, she was like just do 15 but then she argued with me and then she says and this is what I'm giving you so say that there was a, a, a bit of money she gave me like a fourth of it and I was like that's not the way it works yeah you pay me for that, that yeah bit. yeah yeah and um, it, so it was a slabber match and then I done a, a corporate at Christmas and somebody booked the wrong date so I was sitting in the house and then I got a phone call. No, it's tonight. And by the time I got there, I was like 35 minutes late. Not my fault. But I arrived and I was like, if you don't want me to go on, I can leave it. Because it's our fault that somebody put it in for the Saturday and it's a Friday. Yeah. And the guy was like, no, I'll speak to the musician. He hasn't started it yet. And the musician was fucking raging. And then when I went on, everybody was just, it was a Christmas dinner. They, they don't want you there. And it was like fucking... 11 o'clock and there yeah. was, you know, most of them were out having the smoke and, and then you were up and I was just starting to do a bit of fucking about and talking to them and they weren't really liking it but then it went alright the staff loved it the oh staff, really? the staff were laughing their head off like. um, it, it, it's always weird those like private bookings and parties and stuff because you're like I can always guarantee you no one wants me there but then he was like I'm not paying and I was like and he didn't say it to me he said it to them and who booked it do you know what I mean and I was like that's not what happened. Like it, it, yes, we booked it in the wrong night, but I turned up, yeah, offered my services, and says I'll walk away. And he was like, "No, I want you to do it. Got me to do it." And I was like, "I'm not paying." Why was he not going? Because you were late. Yeah, he was basically saying I should get that for free. Right. Uh-huh. How'd that end up? How do you think it ended up? You didn't get paid. No, they I gave you a wank in the cinema. I got fucking paid. You bet <laughs> it was the, the stage where I was going to this business like I says I ain't gonna fucking turn up no no we'll sort it out we'll sort it out I says he's have until today at this time yeah I ain't going down and, and was it a substantial no it wasn't even anything major like but they give him a reduced fee I didn't lose anything but they did so they did right okay because they made a mistake but at the yeah. same sense when I turned up like he didn't say yeah you can do it but I'm reducing the fee or yeah. I'm doing this you know you can't do that no no, you know, but, if you've offered says, also, I understand walk away. that there's been a mess up here, but yeah. I can still do this for you if you want me to do it. And he's yeah. like, "Yeah." If you've offered to stop working at that point and go, "Okay, I'll walk away," but then you can go, "Okay, yeah. obviously I'm not paying." Yeah, you can't then do the job. Yeah. So uh, in terms of that, uh, that's the only real. Other than that email coming, and I don't remember anything else. But I mean, prior to that, they would have been sent it to me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I can't think of anything. The only one I I got 
and it was not sent to me it was someone was gigging with but it was clearly about me because i was the only one doing the bit like this was i did a gig and let's just say a posh area of the country and after the person got a, an email saying uh, one of the acts spoke about cocaine in quite a blasé fashion does he know this is illegal and i was like what i think i may have mentioned this on this before Doing cocaine in a that. blasé fashion. In a blasé? In a blasé fashion. Does he know it's illegal? I was like, yes, but do you know I'm fucking joking? I, I mean, I'm not. I was fully coked up. It, it actually, but, that could be like the, the version of Band-Aid here. What, blasé? Does he know it? Cocaine is illegal. Feed him <laughs> coke. <laughs> Let Willie know it's Christmas. Day. Yeah. <laughs> Me. He was doing cocaine. He was talking about cocaine in a blase fashion. In a blase fashion. I'd have that in my poster. <laughs> cocaine in a blase fashion. That is a fucking show. <laughs> cocaine in a blase fashion. That is a fucking that sounds like a David Bowie album. It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> cocaine in a blase fashion. That's what we're calling this episode. <laughs> I definitely have mentioned it on this before, but it's so... Cocaine in the blazer. The person who I was gigging with, Tom, I'm not going to say who it was, but they told me, and I was like, fuck, are you annoyed at me? And they were like, no, this is so silly. Do you know what I mean? And what type of gig was it? Was it in a venue? An outdoor or? sort of... marquee sort of <coughs> space. Okay. But it was a public gig. Anyone could pay in. It was not private. Do you know what I mean? It was just in a nice place. Was it an organisation? Nope. I don't think so. Like a festival, if you know what I mean? Mm, no. 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 So It I was th- just, the gig is on at this place. And the place is sort of marqueed. All right. <laughs> is it in Belfast? No. No. But it, it's uh, posh. It was posh enough. like in yeah. the, But the gig, this is the thing. It wasn't like I did. I was doing the bits and no one was laughing. Everyone was quiet. No. I did great. <laughs> what did your man say there? What did your man say? <laughs> Too blessed. Too blessed. You have to be secret about it, Humphrey. You have to be secret I about your cocaine use. Fucking, you get us all arrested. <laughs> that man is a, a reckless person. Get him removed from the premises at once. I will Can't be, be re- I'll be writing a review in the morning, Barry. Don't worry See about the it. cunt that fucking complained. You just know that they're fucking. They're secretly gay. Why? Why is it or, gay? <laughs> they're secretly gay. Or they're hiding something fucking really ridiculous from their wife and kids while they're at Sunday school. Or they smack their wife or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There has to be somebody that has yeah. something so deep down inside that they have to make it look like other people are fucking the cunts of the world. Or I think it might just be... You know, some people are that their own bubble. You know, oh this, my god. This is the way things are. Did he just say about sniffing cocaine? No one does that. Yeah. Yes. I wouldn't do that. I would never do Humphrey. that. Every Humphrey. Thing to do. Humphrey. Yes, Tarquin. <laughs> Did he just say about Tarquin? sniffing cocaine? Yeah. The, the, <laughs> I, it was know. I know I love that man. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, can you believe what that man just said? I was absolutely disgusted. It's disgraced, that. Oliver. Oh, I knew. my God. The worst thing that's ever happened in his life is somebody's left the Cocoa Pops open and they're soggy. Aye. Do you know what I mean? And what I'm talking about down lines of the Cocoa Pops. He's fucking cracking up. What a fucking Yeah. Bird. Like, I understand, you know, you can get offended at something someone says. Well, I did do that one on Derek Gunley where I sent your mom a DVD of the Dagger show. Like, and was like, watch this. And if you like it, I can do your gig. Uh-huh. And then I do the gig and he's like, didn't know you were... And I didn't even do, like, it wasn't even... Twice I've done shows where they were like, oh, that was risky and you're going. That was fucking as close to Mr. Tumble on CBB as you'll get. Right, I'll ask you about the two after that, but so that was your your cleanest at this show? When you did this guy's show? Derry Galney was probably the cleanest show I've done. Right. Ever. No right. swear words, no... The, what they got, What they got offended at was there was a bunch of old boys who were fadrons. Right? And they were all sitting with their mantles and I went, fuck, it's good to see boys on in the night. That offended them. And that, that they were like, you cannot say that about veterans. And they went around the whole room, do not laugh at this guy. Yes, You cannot be disrespectful to veterans. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, it was like the Waldens. And so that guy came up to you after, what did he say? And he says, oh, it didn't go down too well there at all. Like, 
wasn't expecting that. I said, did you watch the DVD? No, I didn't hear me well then. Oh, so you didn't watch the fucking thing? No. And I was like, that's your Why not? And I was getting 150 quid. It cost me 75 to drive to Derry Gunley. And they made me wait four hours on the money. Four fucking hours? Yeah. I had what? to sit through the whole event and the paid me at the very end. Because they wanted me to drive away we're not getting the money. Like, and I wouldn't do it. So I just stood in the hall and just fucking stood. And what was the reason they gave you for not paying you? <sighs> you should smoke outside, fat bath. <laughs> Give me <him> money. <sighs> what was the reason they gave? They weren't, they were just like, you have to wait on and I was like, right, I'll wait until he's getting me like a tell him Fuck, so they just didn't want to pay you. Is that the gig you did and someone came on stage after him and, and the, that the chief of police is an example of a, a segregated, segregated community. community. Yeah, that I was always it. remember that. That's amazing. Fuck what man. else has been a risky one for you? <laughs> like one where you've just been, you know, as soon as you've said something, I you're like, ah, oh, fuck. party up in East Belfast and the whole family were Christians. Mm-hmm. And the son booked me on purpose because he was like trying to get back at the family. <laughs> so you were a revenge booking? Yeah. And I, I didn't know that until I... But I got away with it because the staff and then him and all his mates were laughing like fuck. But the rest of the hall was like... And I'm doing the whole bits about Jesus being from Divis and all. Like, and it was just like... I remember doing the bit where I'm like... Ah, that wound's going to be the death of me. And the hall was like, <gasps> and they were like, ah! <laughs> was it in a church hall? No, it was in a in a, a a room like in a function place. Right. Would you would you call that? It was the beside Pim's Drive there, beside the Strand, the Red Leaf Club or Maple Leaf Maple Leaf Club. I've had so I have that look. The Maple Leaf Club inside looked like a Chinese back in the eighties. Face tank and fucking the wallpaper and the, the, the that wall bit panel. did and then you went into the function room and that function room may be the best set up room for comedy I've ever seen in my fucking life. Not that anyway. I never got to do it. <laughs> I got wanked off in the maple leaf to bring things full circle. Was it my mate? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was there a film on? Yeah. My wood was the it death of me. Mean you? Well, I, well, I. <laughs> Sorry, with the cut short, Patty has to go. Sadly, but well, okay, you li- well, you got a long one last week. Yeah. So you get a shorter one this yeah, week. Yeah, you got a big long one last week. Got fucking very, two very hours, long. Was it? It's fucking ages, yeah. Was it two hours? Something like that. It was all together. Two hours, like. Nah, all together. With Susie? Yeah. I will take the last two weeks. Do you know what I mean? Every time we have a guest on that we like, we do just go for ages. The Scooby fan really fucking, like, people were like, that's not true, that's not true. And then there was people like, that is true, right? So I put the clip up and then when I put the picture up and then the, there's somebody contacted me from the family. Oh, fuck. Yeah. You in trouble again? No. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> oh, did, oh, really? <laughs> They're scundered about the van. I would... I, why are you embarrassed about it? Well, you did say, fuck, if that was <laughs> my dad and they were like, do you want to lift the school? You'd be like, no. I wouldn't get lift the school in it. Right, so that's... Right, but it. now that I'm near 30, I'd be like, yeah, it's our Scooby van. You got a fucking problem? <laughs> Well, he was like, you got you, a problem with a fucking you, Scooby van, man? Can you get Paddy's mate to sit in the back and be mean to me? <laughs> <laughs> Have you a TV? Call me a, like a cinema. Oh, call me a dickhead in the back of the Scooby van. I'm going to buy my mate a fucking cinema seat. Just one seat? Just, no, like two, a pair of seats. And then he can just bring his dates out his <laughs> mass bag or something. Sounds like something on Pimp My Red. <laughs> Does it? Fuck, I feel Hey, bad. look what we've done for you. I'm Exhibit. This is Pimp My Red. <laughs> exhibit is from the Middle East now, is it? Yeah. Hey, look what I do for I am Exhibit. I am famous rapper. X, go and give it to you, I bastard. Am... Was he Pakistani? Yeah, that's how you sounded. That wasn't Middle East. Yeah. That was fucking... Hey, I put fish was, tank in car. Easy. Now, what are you doing? You, you like Scooby Machine? I, now you're you want Puerto wank Rican. in cinema? Puerto Rican. No. You went like... <laughs> Willie <he, will> Fogg. <laughs> Around the world in any voices. Yeah. I don't even know any that many exhibit songs to do his songs. I know, I don't know. I said X, go and give it to him. That's, that's not him. Not, that's it's not him, that's the MX. I'm exhibit. Um, <laughs> I'm about to tip you right. It's Barry White doing an exhibit <laughs> thing. If he's, um, if he's got a car made on Pimp My Ride, what would it have in it? Um, if you got a Pimp My Ride car made, I would go up to exhibit, I'd say exhibit, put in game, put in gaming. Put the Xbox, PlayStation. You need a bed in yours. 
Why did I need a bin? You're all the fucking dorms. Actually, I, actually, I cleaned it. The well, they should just... It would just be the same car, but it would just have one of them with the accessibility handles that you have in the center of So just my car, then? A shower in the back. A walk-in shower. <laughs> we put I'd be there. fucking class. What are you... Are you're, you la- you're laughing. There you go. You're laughing. There you go. You see them? That'd except, be brilliant. Except it's like, we got a grant from the housing executive. <laughs> to do up your car? We've I didn't do the paperwork. <laughs> this is just what's came. Those executives are doing cars. It's just a wee mom with passes here going, Two minutes, I finished the tail in there. Yeah, two minutes. What do you call the wee person who comes out to the house and checks that, like, everything's. It's just exhibit now. Oh, yeah. That's where he works. We've got, we've got a home help. <laughs> An automatic home help. <laughs> She's in the glove box. It's like a home help, only it's fucking. What do you call that big fucking cunt? Hero 5. Baymax? Big Hero 6 Oh I am Baymax Alright oh, yes Baymax This <laughs> is the big home help oh. Hi I'm Baymax uh, I got my car cleaned actually After I had you in it Because it Romas. was It wasn't even Did the Romas do it? No no I did it You did not I did it I did it But it wasn't even Were you wearing your E-Pink outfit From the boxing? No No I was wearing <laughs> no- I was wearing music. nothing Play some music <laughs> <laughs> We'll turn the car Every two minutes <laughs> <laughs> just sponging <laughs> but no I, it like wasn't even like a fucking video yeah. <laughs> but it was that's a fucking tune but it was just it was more just I had clothes from like stopping off at gigs wasn't and then just clothes, it was just clothes it was clothes and bags of McCoys I know what I left it listen <laughs> I seen it I seen it <laughs> you said that as if you were fucking stopped at a like <laughs> I know I know what I lifted and that I is bags of salt and vinegar McCoys my friend I was in it. You're saying it like there was a fucking body in it? I, not once did I say there was a body in it. You're it saying it like, like that? It. No, I'm saying it was a fucking... It was... I'm not used to cars like that, that's all I'm saying. What? A crisp, a crisp in What would you get good. in your car? What? On Pimp My Raid? Pimp My Raid? What would I get in the car? They gave a guy a hot tub once. A Henrik Larson mural on the roof. Oh, I probably... Out of everything you can get, that's all you would get? Yeah, probably. Would you not get good surround sound system? No. No? He, what? See, see I used to have his a, car. Um, I used to have a younger. He didn't have a boot. He just had a subwoofer. The fill the boot. Uh, An amps. A subwoofer? Yeah, so a big... That sounds like something he'd call gay people. I actually had... The, the, the festival was starting, and I had my boot open, playing the music for the festival in it our was, street. The whole, the, the whole back of the car was just... Speakers. Speaker. My uncle had one like that and then he fucked it going over speed bumps, I remember. Yeah, it's cool for like a day and then you realise you have to drive with it. Yeah. No, it, it, it does be a yeah. bit tough. I thought I had a picture of it at all. That's a pimp my ride to give a guy a hot tub one time. Which sounds cool. Uh-huh. That is a massive pain in the bo- bollocks. Like. Yeah. Anytime you have to suddenly break a fucking hot tub tipping over into the front I seat. I would probably get a couple of bouncers in the car because Bouncy's out to get me. I don't know if you've seen that. Did you see it? Nope. He released a statement. Did you see the statement? He's doing statements now? Yeah, he's doing statements. Okay. So, um, let me see. So let me see. Ah, bless him. God love him. God love him. Let's see. Who said the two? Loads of people. Like, not even just one person. At least he's left Sean alone now. I don't um, think fuck. He fucking hated you don't, for some... Just don't bring me up. <laughs> yeah, just don't imagine me he'll too. just forget. Sorry, ours is there. Paddy McDonald's scumbag, get this picture down off me now. You sent off, you sent of me to David Beckham before my parents go to the. So I'm gonna have to read that bit again. Get this picture down of me that you sent of me to David Beckham. Now, why are you sending photos to David Beckham of Burns? Listen, David Beckham phoned me up and he's like, Paddy, I've really liked some pictures of, of Connor Burns to put in my Facebook. I- oh, holy fuck, he goes to. You are a fat mess. I will break your jaw. Wait till my friends see you this Tuesday with me. They will hold you down so I can hit you. I will put you in the hospital with tubes down your throat, you rat bag. <clears throat> Stay well out of my life. I am a friend of your no more. Fuck off, prick. Do not make a cunt of me again behind my back. I don't even really want to talk on this because he's going to come for me. Um, your whole... Stake, stake your podcast up your whole wanker with that rat William Thompson, Shane Todd, me or my parent... You get done with this song. Do you know what? I'm afraid of him. I'm not even reading it out. 
because he's going to see that I've done it. Do you know what, Burnsy? I don't want no smoke. I don't want no... Fuck as fuck, cunt. I don't want no smoke, man. Don't come for me. <laughs> it's, it's all him. Scene, do you remember the scene in Forrest Gump where... Burnsy's on it? Your woman's going with a fella and... She, Jelly, come here. And Jelly gets brought... Jelly brings Forrest... I love you, Jelly. ...for the Black Panther party and the fella she's going with starts fucking hitting her and then Forrest Gump beats a bollocks at him. Yeah. And he starts going to your woman Jelly the next day. Listen, it was fucking... The president and this war in fucking Vietnam. That's why I hit you. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. I mean, like, it's like, people are sending me messages going, like, he was really cheeky to me last night, and then he sent me messages going, listen, it's not your fault. It's Willie Thompson, Patty McDonald, she and Todd. They're cons. Why Shane? The what is Shane, Tom? I don't know. He was meant to feed him, partner. But this is what I've been told will happen. So it I have happened. been told this by people he'll this do this this will happen this will he'll turn on you and then that's it and then he moves on to the next person and then he turns on them and then he moves on to the next person turns yeah. on them I, I've heard so that so just I'm addressing it because people are fucking torturing me about it and it's fucking dumb so you got it I did, few people ask me about him and I'm like it's, it was, it's never my thing Yeah, it's never been But I also agreed with your reference I've never seen Forrest Gump so I didn't really get it but no. it was just for the sake I was like right, yeah okay. never seen it yeah Need to watch That's that. Thing. But so, yes. do you think you'll ever be friends again? Can't see it now. It seems I think we should take down the ever... episodes of him since mm. I'm not friends with him. Probably. I um, won't take him down. More just like I wouldn't be comfortable, no, because he enjoyed being on them before. Yeah. But I wouldn't. Yeah. I don't kind of. Yeah. Just thinking about it. If he doesn't like it, yeah, I'll yeah. take it. We'll get them taken down. So that's your warning. They're going down. Um, I have my show next Friday in the SSC Arena. Fuck, that's next Friday. Yeah, and I have. Fuck me, I'm going to the cinema. Day, I go. Have uh, with my mate. Yeah, and then <laughs> you, I have, you're going to look out in the room saying, <laughs> "I'm just you're killing." Leicester Square Theatre on September 30th, and the Millennium Forum is fucking flying out on November 4th. Good man, good so, man. Any wonder after that last Derry gig, the word of yeah. mouth should be fucking yeah, flan everywhere. Um, my Ulster Hall show. There is literally two sections left with a lot of seats. The rest are, you know, tiny bits, but we're fucking getting there, and it's ages away. Other than that, the Edinburgh Fringe, come see me there. And I'm in the Pleasance in London on the 26th of June, I'm going to say. We 50-seater in London. Very good. Doing previews. Come see that. Head on over to Patreon. We're doing the Q&A episode. Other than that, thank you very much, and we will see you next week. Goodbye. I feel